Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a tool called URL Disabler and what that will do is it will allow you to block specific websites and also block them in specific browsers if you have more than one installed. So this will uh, work with the logged in user and even if you uh, restart the computer or log off and back in it'll still be uh, applied. But if you have a different user it's not going to apply to that user. So you just keep that in mind. So once you download the uh, tool it'll be a zip file, just extract it then just run the executable. And you'll have your list here. So all you need to do is uh, put in an address. So let's let's go back. Let's go to Chrome first. And if we go to this online computer tips, we could see that it works here. So let's copy this address. We'll put it in here and add it. So make sure you add it. And then you have the options here to which browser you want to block it on. So we'll do Chrome and Edge. We don't have Firefox installed on here. And then you could you could disable blocking. If you don't want to block addresses temporarily or permanently. Okay, so once we have that done, we just click green checkbox here. If you have your browser open, you'll have to restart it. So let's open the browser. Try it again. Website blocked. Let's try it for Chrome. Website blocked. Okay, let's go ahead and reset that. So now, if you want to block other things, you could block uh, downloads as well. So let's say we want to disable Chrome downloads. Let's apply that. Even if you don't add something to the list, I would just apply it just to make sure it gets applied. Okay, let's try and download Acrobat. It says fail, file blocked. So therefore we couldn't block anything or download anything. Then if you want to reverse it, just uncheck it and apply it. And of course, they have some other stuff here for selecting all pie changes. You can import and export your list. Uh, some option examples if you want. Have it always be on top. Now, if you want to have a password applied, so let's say somebody found this program and they were going to try and disable it, you could do this. So let's put in a password. We'll just put it password. Password hint. Okay, so now let's close it. And let's say somebody found the program and you're worried they're going to disable the websites. Now, when they try and open it, it wants the password to even open it. Just like that. And if you change your mind, you could just remove a site and apply it. And of course, you've got to restart the browser if it's open, so let's do that. Now we can get back on the website. So that's about the gist of it, and then you could uh, disable and enable stuff right from here if you want to do that. You know, Disable blocking temporarily and then block it again if you want to do that. So I'll put a link in the description and you can download it. So just keep this handy So because if you block some websites and you get rid of this tool, it uh, might be a little tricky getting them unblocked again unless you figure out how this tool is actually blocking them. So obviously with stuff like this, use at your own risk and obviously be careful because you don't want to get yourself in trouble. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.